And to complete the panel, you met them in our session this afternoon. Three former players who now work for show races in the record football club. Steve Cabot, Anwar Udin and Clint Easton. Well, not only was that the biggest game of do this, do that, I think we've ever had, it might also be the biggest panel we've had, certainly this year, definitely. So, um, if you'd like to ask a question, who wants to be brave and start us off? Can I just make a point? When I'm a lot older than you, a lot, as you can probably all see, I'm very much older than you, a lot. And when I was your age, there was quite a bit of racism. But what I must say, it's, it's, it's improved vastly. It really has. And you know what? It's going to improve even more. Because you use guys. Because you're the future. And you guys are smart. You guys are very, very smart. And you know what smart people do? They understand. And you guys understand. And you know, certainly looking back, um, racism was an issue, but I think now that you guys are understanding and you guys are smart, I think it, it can only improve. And it will improve because, you know, we're all different. We are. Um, but we're all the same, if that makes sense, you know. We're only sometimes our, our, our skin colour is different, but, you know, we're all no different on this panel and you're all no different to each other and you are the future. You guys are the future. And you can really, really kick it out completely. I really do believe that. Because you're all smart. Certainly a lot smarter than, than I was at your age. And some of these guys here. So you're you, it's you guys, well, certainly some of these players anyway, you're smarter than most of these players. <laughs> I'm joking. Have you ever been in a situation where you wanted to Um, yeah, I have, um, when I was in the pit fair one time, someone said a racist comment, which um, made me forget all about football, and made me want to hurt them, um, which, <laughs> which I'm being honest, which, which I went out to do, and I ended up getting sent off for it. But um, now, if someone said it to me, I just laugh, because they want a reaction. Um, so now I just laugh in their face and just try to ignore it, and one's not people more. So, um, yeah, I have experienced it, it's just been just a once, but um, I've learned my lessons, and yeah. question. Has racism ever interrupted a football match? Is it something that's ever happened to you guys? Me personally, I haven't experienced racism, but I know quite a few people that have experienced racism. And what, um, what tends to happen when like, a player says a remark with that is it gets reported to the referee and then after the game it will be investigated. But if you see on TV a couple of times, there are incidents where the abuse has been so much that they have had to walk off the pitch and because it's hard it's hard to um, ignore sometimes. Sometimes it, everyone everyone's got emotions. So sometimes you can't just block it out when a, a bunch of fans are screaming screaming bad words at you. So obviously when I when I watch TV you know, I watch England play goes in England they won too long ago it was on the twenty one game where the players have to walk off the pitch because if they didn't walk off the pitch you know, the situation would have just occurred and became much worse. So but um, but most times when racism racism is used on the pitch, we just normally report it to the police and then I mean report it to the referee <coughs> and after uh, they'll get investigated after the game. I can just add to that because obviously Steve and Cabba sitting next to me, we was playing uh, together for Barnet not long ago in uh, the same division at Dagenham and one of our fellow teammates um, suffered some racial abuse and the game actually stopped uh, the ball came to me and no one else was moving the whole game stopped and two teams sort of got in a little bit of an argument and the player that was the victim of racism he could not continue to play um, they used a racist term in regards to where he's from his family and he couldn't continue playing anymore he walked off the pitch and went to the dressing room and got changed. He, he physically couldn't play anymore. And that was a big loss to us because he's one of our key players. And we went on to lose that game. So 
it happens and football players do really well to try and deal with it by telling the referee and it gets dealt with but there's a lot of emotions involved and it's hard sometimes to block it out so that's why we have to raise awareness to make sure fans understand what they're saying and what they're doing and even make sure that teams and players don't do it to each other because like Femi said really 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 correctly and was right it, it causes you to you know lose your temper and you can get angry and sometimes it's hard to deal with it in the right way I think um, the people who say racist comments are uneducated, you know. Um, I think when they're at school, maybe they've not been taught the correct ways. A lot of people from my age didn't have days like this, like you lot got. Um, to come and talk to people, find out about information about um, show racing the red card. And, and I think it's a brilliant thing that you lot have learned. And you lot today have been educated to find out why racism is wrong, and why people use it, you know, and how other people feel from it. So you know now that it's wrong. How others feel, and you know now to use it. I think that's the best thing they can bring to it. Just going on from what's happening here today, uh, on behalf of the football club, I'd just like to say thank you for you, everybody attending today. Uh, I hope you've really got something out of today. Um, Daniel and Mary's football club have been involved with show racing in the red card for a dozen so years. We were one of the uh, very first uh, non league clubs to get involved with the uh, campaign uh, a long time ago. And that was done because here at the Football Club we realised that we're in a, a diverse, multicultural area, but we also realised that with our team is made up from people from many, many nationalities. Um, and it's important for us that we know that our supporters who are cheering on our players on a Saturday, wherever they come from, realise that, that in their own lives they've got to live together as well. In exactly the same way as our players play together uh, no matter where they come from. And so it's important for everybody here today to take that message back. That we've all got to live together. And one of the great things about uh, coming and watch Dagenham and Reverend's Football Club is that over the years and the different campaigns that we've, we've done, show racism, run, red card, kick it out, uh, Daggers Against Racism Day, that everybody in the area knows uh, that we won't tolerate racism at Dagenham and Rivers Football Club. And anybody that can come and watch or play with our academies and or in the team, or even just come along as a spectator, and they will know that they will be in a safe atmosphere. And that's really important to us. I'm really glad that you've all come today. I hope you've got something out of it. Thank you.